child, I would spend time under the blue whale skeleton in our national museum. And it was strung up across the ceiling. It's 65 feet long. So for a child, I mean, not that I'm that much taller now, but for a child who's like pretty minuscule, you're lying under this and you're thinking, how does a creature this gigantic exist? Where does it exist? How does it eat? How big are its babies? When I was 18, I was resolute in the fact that I want to be a marine biologist. Everyone around me was like, but Puta, what are you going to do with this degree? And I was like, but this is an island. Why are we questioning it? But it just goes to show our priorities as a nation, despite being an island nation, weren't related to engaging with the ocean in a way that's recreational or in a manner of conservation. It's not an easy ride being a woman in science, um, being a woman from South Asia in science, because certainly for us as a woman, there are all kinds of challenges, everything from being dismissed to, I mean, I've been at meetings where I was too young and too female, so nobody wanted to listen to me, to people being very patronizing about, oh, have your parents given you new permission to do this? Or does your husband mind? Nobody will ask men those same questions. I still go back to the museum. I still walk around this skeleton. I tell people to take their children because it's a place where dreams are made. And I think that's kind of remarkable. <laughs>